Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about to watch in the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today is Tuesday, and I was going to do um, a smoke session and talk about my doctor's visit today. I finally got a chance to get into the doctor to talk about to talk to a doctor about the conditions that I'm dealing with uh, mainly just my arthritis and the issues that I was concerned about as far as my liver is concerned so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that visit and how that turned out and have a smoke session because this I got up way early this morning to be there and <clears throat> it's been one hell of a day and have some of my LaCroix I found a mango flavor LaCroix it's pretty good I'm in no way sponsored by the company that makes this drink. <laughs> it's just carbonated water is all it is. Oh, man. Before we get into that, I'm going to let my hair down a little bit. This is usually how I've been wearing my hair lately when I go out in public because I just don't want to have my hair out all over the place and anybody to mess with my dreadlocks. So I'm just going to take them down though because it's feeling a little tight and constricted here. So <clears throat> loosen it up a bit. There we go. Let the tentacles loose somewhat. <laughs> so yeah. I might just leave the scarf on though. But, but, um, let my head my snakes go <laughs> just a little bit so I'm gonna smoke um, what am I gonna smoke today let's see what I got in here to smoke I just got through doing two loads of laundry too folding that up yesterday I did like three loads of laundry so but today it's like oh my god I think I'll smoke some of this white rhino too that'll happen so I got some white rhino here I'll show you what it looks like White Rhino is an indica strain. It's a very nice, strong strain. I'll show you one of the buds I have of it. Uh, excuse me. Right here. I think I want to grab my little pipe to smoke out of it because even though I'm doing pretty good on medicine, I just want to conserve, so I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed my little pipe, and now i got to clear it out. <laughs> Oh, God. And now I don't even know if I have my lighter over here or not. <laughs> I don't think I was prepared for this show, guys. All right. Yeah, here's my lighter. I am prepared. <laughs> Drink, lighter, pipe. I got to clear this pipe out. So cheers, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Ah. It's like a charm. Let's clear this out all the way. Put a fresh load in there. I hope you guys are having a pleasant day today. Uh, I had, like I said, I had a very early start to my day. Yeah, white rhino. I didn't smoke anything before I left to go to the doctor. And I don't tell doctors that I smoke cannabis, if you guys are wondering. I know some people probably do, but I don't. Um, because conventional doctors still have the opinion that cannabis smoking is hazardous to your health or any kind of smoking is hazardous to your health. So why talk to them about something that they think is going to be hazardous to my health? The only thing they usually ask me is if I smoke cigarettes. So that's pretty much referring to tobacco, you know, tobacco commercial cigarettes. So the answer is no on that. <laughs> But I don't feel the need to give any extra information about the fact that I smoke cannabis in order to alleviate the pain that I have from arthritis in my knees and ankles. So I had to, had to straighten myself out here. So yeah, alright. Here we go. Fresh hit. Cheers everyone and cheers to all of you guys that are dealing with similar conditions. Um, it's not easy to prove to people that you suffer from chronic pain. And especially not easy to prove to people that you suffer from chronic pain when you medicate with cannabis. 
because cannabis can give you this like totally relaxed chill feeling because you do feel that way but it, but when you have um, when you have chronic pain you can still sometimes feel the pain even though it's like it's it's numbed not numbed it's uh, soothed but it's still there you can feel it so and if you didn't smoke your herb you probably would feel it way more so it's hard for people to know when when someone who medicates with cannabis if they're actually really suffering but trust me they are oh man this is delicious this white rhino it's quite the treat so yeah this morning I went in for um, the physical they asked me the doctor asked me basically what I was most concerned about with my health and I told him told her I mean the doctor I had was a female I told her that um, I'm concerned about the arthritis in my knees and my ankles and I kind of gave her a brief um, a brief explanation of how my right knee got injured but it didn't seem like she wanted to hear much of what I had to say because like these type of situations with doctors and me going to a doctor it's always trying to get the information out as fast as you can so you can get to the next person the next customer <laughs> next so um, basically she said what she's gonna do is uh, I already got some blood tests done today and I really hate doing that giving blood they did they took like like three vials of blood this big okay this long and um, so basically those blood tests are testing to see if I have diabetes seeing it trying to see if I have um, any liver problems like I was um, guessing that I probably do have because the last time that I saw my gynecologist she told me she examined me and she told me that my liver felt like it might have been having some distress so that I should definitely go to a doctor and check it out so by doing the blood tests um, they'll give me the results of it call me or whatever text me let me know the results of that so that I can know what's going on as far as that goes um, whenever I go to the doctors I always feel nervous um, I always feel anxious uh, my my blood pressure is usually always high when they check my blood pressure, at least recently, even more so. And um, they pretty much just gave me a lecture on how to eat and all this other stuff and exercise, which is everything that I've already been doing. And I just try to emphasize the fact that I haven't been working for all this time because of this, because of uh, the arthritis in my knees and ankles. And... Um, it's almost like they didn't see like see that as being a big deal or whatever but whatever um, they wanted to prescribe me pain pills for the um, arthritic pain and I was like no I don't really do well with pain pills it makes me nauseous and sick so she said well just give me advice on what I can do in the meantime and if it gets worse to um, that they can write me a prescription so it's just like I thought doctors are pretty much like that when I go in for you know any assistance the liver um, situation may be something a little bit more that they can do do with do something about other than just give me pain pills so <laughs> um, yeah I did mention to them that I had pain in my stomach in this area of where my liver is like sharp pain um, here and there and I think that has a lot to do with what I'm what I eat too depending on what it is that I eat that will happen um, but yeah I talked to them about that and <laughs> it was a it was a something that I don't really enjoy doing I don't enjoy going to doctors but I went you know cuz I was kinda concerned after I went to my gynecologist at the end of the year and she was concerned about my liver so I decided to go in ahead and check that out so um, I just don't like going to doctors because every time after I'm done, come out of it, I feel like they're just trying to like make me feel like I'm not taking care of my body well enough, you know. And that's, you know, where does that leave me? <laughs> you know, shit. But anyway, we'll see what the results 
end up being when I get that back. Uh, I don't know when. Whenever the tests are done, I'll see what's going on with that. Um, yeah, that's about it that happened today as far as that goes. Um, I really didn't want to go today. I wanted to cancel it, but I didn't cancel it. I, I'm keeping up with it. Uh, just getting records, medical records together, you know, being formed so that uh, when I do apply for disability, I'll have a better chance of getting it because I have actual document, more documentation showing that I did actually make the effort to get a doctor to examine it. I didn't even ask if I could get an x-ray for both my knees and both my ankles, and she said, the doctor said to me, that's not necessary. So... She just chopped me off at the quick there and just said, oh, no, we're not going to do that. Because uh, the last time that I got my ankle um, x-rayed, I asked if I could get a copy of the x-ray. And they got mad at me. Um, it, was, it was a whole other place, not the same place I've been dealing with, I dealt with today. But this was way back when, when I got an x-ray. And they got mad that I wanted an x-ray, like a copy of it. And I said, well, we'll give you this this time. And then I wanted to go into the doctor to look at the x-ray with the doctor, and that didn't ever happen. So it was just, it was just weird, weird situation. <laughs> and it's been a really uh, very long day. I got all that laundry done, too, right afterwards, and um, I feel like I'm going to collapse for real. So um, I'll probably just, you know, today I did list... Uh, a bag, a purse that I finished too, so on my Etsy shop. I'm starting to load more things up on my Etsy shop now that I figured out how to, um, now that I figured out how to load up my Etsy, pictures from my Etsy shop from my phone, so it's been a lot easier. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really done much of anything but that today. That took up my day, that, going to the doctor. The waiting is the thing, you know, waiting to get in, and I'm just tired. It made me think about, like, they don't really take, you know, our people who have arthritis so seriously, they just give them pain medication and tell them to do low-impact exercises and watch what you eat <clears throat> and, and things like that, you know, and that's about it. That's all you get for, um... <laughs> If you tell somebody you have pain, you have arthritic pain, that's all you get. Doctors can't do much else other than that. Unless it gets to the extreme where you end up needing like knee replacement and all that kind of shit, which I really don't want to happen. I don't think it's going to happen because <clears throat> I've been trying to do more things internally that will help. Um, Searching out juices that'll help with my joints. So I'll keep you guys updated on that too. It's just I'm feeling really like drained from the from this day and this day is not over yet. Just feeling drained and feeling like uh, maybe I'll just like work on some art and so I can get myself back in a more focused and mellow mood because I start thinking about when when I had that appointment, I was thinking about, well, if they're not taking this seriously, um, the fact that I have um, arthritis and that I haven't been able to do the work that I used to do all these years because of this condition, and if this isn't really taking that seriously, then I start thinking, well, how am I going to qualify for, you know, for disability? And is that really a realistic thing to try to stri try to go for again? And also, I mean, I've been looking, you know, and also I've been looking, job searching too, job search today a little bit, got onto this thing called Monster, that monsterjobs.com thing, and got my resume through there, and put my resume up on there, not through there, um, because they do have a service where they can do it for you. But no, it's like, I'm just doing a little bit of everything and hoping for the best. That's the best I can do. So, if you guys are going through the same thing I'm going through or something similar, I hear you and I feel you. And um, that's all we can do is just roll with it. <laughs> Seriously.
Yeah, yeah, this is good. <laughs> really feeling good. White Rhino. So yeah, like I said, I did list uh, a purse recently. I can show that to you guys. Actually, it's right over here. And I started on another purse. Um, not like from scratch, but trying to finish up stuff that I've already got started. And that's what I've been doing. That's what Mercury Retrograde is all about. It's about finishing up projects that you haven't finished. Simple as that. Complete what you started. So I'll be right back and I'll grab that purse that I finished and listed on my Etsy. And I'll show you the next person I'm gonna, that'll be on my Etsy shop once it's finished. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. If you haven't seen my other videos, but this is the purse that's on sale right now that I have on my Etsy shop. It is like a Sugar Skull Day of the Dead inspired polymer clay beaded purse made from recycled fabrics. All of the polymer clay beads on this purse are created by me. Um, See, so here's the back of the uh, of the purse here. On the top of the purse there's a zipper where you can enclose your belongings, whatever you decide to put in there. It would probably fit, you know, you could even use it as a stash bag if you wanted to. Um, because it kind of feels a little padded. The fabric in there is jean fabric. Um, but yeah, you could probably put a little pipe, a small pipe like this in there would fit in there. A lighter, wallet, keys, you know. A med container if you needed to it seals right up in there and the um, strap is just made from regular recycled fabrics so but yeah this is on my Etsy shop right now this is a little day of the dead um, sugar skull looking doll um, I used um, what did I use I used fab um, what do you what you would call lint clay to make this doll and lint clay is basically you take it's clean dryer lint and you um, mix it with glue until you form like a type of clay and then you can sculpt with it after I sculpted it I painted it with uh, acrylic paints so. but yes yeah, my day of the dead type of style of um, purse here and that's on my Etsy shop right now and you'll find the link to my Etsy shop in the description below. So yeah, that's the one that's all complete. And this is the one that I'm working on now <clears throat> to have up on my shop soon. It's a conjoined twin uh, witch purse. Day of the Dead kind of vibe, uh, Halloween inspired type of purse. So I took a conjoined twin doll and sewed it onto this bag. And the bag, you'll be able to like... Um, get a zipper on there so you'll be able to enclose it and it's lined with fabric a nice kind of like a polyester slash silky type fabric in there and there's a little pocket on the back so I'm probably gonna put um, probably gonna just fill it with beads you know just sew a bunch of beads on there some of these beads too cuz some of these beads I was gonna use for dry like beads but I think some of these beads will look good, like on the handle and all around. <clears throat> so that black and white striped uh, design pattern is something I really like a lot. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I've been working on lately. This one is definitely not near done. This is the next one that I'm working on. I'll probably work on that after I get off of the show today. But yeah, that's what helps keep me sane is working on creative creative things and keeping myself positive and and motivated to keep striving forth, you know, keep keep going through it all and do the best that I can. So and I hope that you guys remember that when you're doing anything within this world that that's all you can do is what you can do. You only do what you know. And if you know better, then you'll do better. <laughs> so that's an old saying, but a lot of old sayings are true. Oh, this is so good, this white rhino. Woo! 
Ooh, man. All right. Ooh. I'm going to fill this up with another small bowl of white rhino. Uh -huh. And I'm going to start working on this purse that I showed you guys. <clears throat> this conjoined twin purse that I showed you guys. I've always had a, a fascination with conjoined twins. Um, I saw some conjoined twins once before when I was younger. And it profoundly affected me. A lot of the work that I do, some people will say, it doesn't look like you. It doesn't look like artwork that you would do. And the reason why they say that is because, you know, African-American woman on the outside with dreadlocks. And why would you make something like this? <clears throat> a lot of it is the reflection of what I see, what I see around me in the world. And what I see within my own mind as well. So, um... You can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> That's the story and lesson in all of this. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys take the time out to be creative if you're feeling really stressed out, like I have been, and realizing that it can totally help you um, balance your thoughts and balance your feelings and emotions, especially with Mercury Retrograde here going in full force <laughs> all the way until the 1st of August. So... With that said, thank you so much, for guys, for joining me and coming along with me on my journey of the things that are going on in my world. I really appreciate you, your kind comments. I really appreciate your subscribing to my channel. The likes and shares are appreciated as well. And feel free to comment in the comment section and let me know how your journey is going here on this planet. It's, uh, it's going. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me take a puff of this white rhino. White rhino and head on out of here and finish up some projects to continue putting some more things on my Etsy shop. Please do stop by my Etsy shop and if you purchase something from my Etsy shop, you get a free handmade gift to go along with your purchase. If you don't like the handmade gift, you can always give it to a friend or family member. So, With that said, brightest blessings to you all and I'll see you soon.